We are the farmers. Hey guys, Kitty here. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about the profession changes happening in 7.1. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight to that. This of course is Wowhead, the patch 7.1. This is the current live build on the PTR, so everything is subject to changes from when 7.1 does come out. This is what the PTR is showing, so this is what expe is expected to happen. Now for Alchemy, you can see that they are increasing by double, if not more, the required material for everything. So all of the potions, all of the flask, they're getting a increased amount of material by double, if not more. You can see all of the flasks are getting a 2 to 7 increase from Starlight Rose and a 4 to 10 from Fox, Fajarn, Aetheral, and Dreamleaf. This is a good thing, of course. Obviously, the 7.1 is going to be including the Blood of Sargeras trader, so a lot of people are going to be dumping their Blood of Sargeras for herbs, so that means there's going to be an influx of herbs in the market, which only makes sense that the, the items that require those herbs are going to have an increase in the required amount of herbs. Which is a good thing, that means hopefully these prices, the prices for these flasks and potions won't devalue, they'll roughly stay the same. That is of course the hope. Um, the alchemist stones fell were increased by slightly. Now there is one new potion, this potion is called Potion of Prolonged Power. It is a world drop from the Broken Isles creatures. It gives an increase all stats by 2500 for one minute with a one minute cooldown, so that could probably be pretty good for raiding. And it only requires one of one blood of Sargeras with a 20 crystal vial. So that price, of course, just bases on what you value your blood of Sargeras at. Moving on along to blacksmithing. Um, nearly everything is getting a decrease in the amount of demon steel bars that it requires, besides two things, the arm guards and the gauntlets. Now the arm guards, of course, are required to create the Obliterum Forge. What they're doing is every single item that is required for the creation of the Obliterum Forge, they're increasing the amount of material for that. Um, everything else is getting a decrease in the amount, so that probably means Demon Steel value is going to be going down. Moving along to Enchanting, Enchanting just a slight changes. They decrease the amount of Arcana required for the two relics. Engineering has a few slight changes. They increase the amount for the auto hammer for the lay stone or requirement. For the cannon, what they did was re they removed the demon steel bars and replaced it with fell slate. And for the snack distribution mode, they removed the hearty feast and replaced it with a few meats. For inscription, there are two new glyphs coming out as well as two new glyph name changes. Um, what they're doing to a few of the turrets, they're in decreasing the amount of sallow pigment for the turrets, which is a good thing. That means you can, uh, these will be a lot easier to obliterate for obliterum. For the songs, they are removing the rose 8 pigment requirement and increasing the sallow pigment requirement for a few of them, and then for the other few, it's vice versa. Uh, for the Vantus runes, Vantus runes are getting a double material requirement. I'm not sure how many people are going to be buying Emerald Nightmare Vantus runes since there's going to be new content being released so these would have been a good investment but I'm not entirely sure how many people are actually going to be buying these Vantus runes. Of course there are going to be the new Vantus runes for the new raid coming out so those are also going to be implemented in the game. For leatherworking like I said earlier the bindings are going to have an increase in the amount of stonehide leather um, that is one of the pieces you need to create the Obliterum Forge. And what they're pretty much doing is they're actually increasing nearly all the leather requirements for the leatherworking pieces by a decent amount. Um, they also are introducing Drums of the Mountain, which is just going to be like every drum in the previous expansions. Uh, for tailoring, of course, there's going to be the new 30 slot bag. I know a lot of people are stacking up on silk for this 30 slot bag. Um, this 30 slot bag is, of course, going to be a lot easier to make than a hex weave bag. So these 30 slot bags are probably going to be selling a lot better. Um, the increase in the amount of imbued silk weave for the bracers, of course, is the Blitterum Forge requirement. And they are decreasing the amount of imbued silk weave for nearly everything else. They are increasing the amount of silk for the back pieces, but that's about it. 
And that's pretty much it. You have your secondary professions. You do have a new omelet recipe as well as two new things for first aid. That pretty much sums up the 7.1 current live build for the PTR. Of course, this is expected to what is going to be happening when 7.1 does come out. But of course, there are changes that can happen by the time 7.1 comes out. I will link the this, this website in the description so you can go look at everything for yourself. Like always guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.